Knoxville Raceway, fueled by speed. Jamie Ball from Knoxville, Iowa, driver of the White Lightning Motorsports 5J. Started racing sprint cars in 2010 and uh, been racing that ever since, so about six years for sprint cars and before that I raced outlaw dirt carts at English Creek Speedway um, from 06 to 2009. Really just a family sport. I, since I can remember, uh, I've been at a racetrack on a weekend and uh, my dad raced sprint cars from 98 to 06. The deal was as long as I cleaned the trailer every week I could wear that crew shirt on Saturday. Through college and everything I've always lived at home. Never left Knoxville and uh, the true reason why is because I want to be at Knoxville on Saturday. There's no better feeling in the world than winning at Knoxville. Uh, I've only been able to do it three times but it's three of the best times of my life. Just uh, sprint car racing kind of make you a hero or a zero but uh, when you win at Knoxville the, the hero status there that you feel uh, the right turn onto victory lane is something that can't be explained. It's just uh, one of the most amazing feelings in the world. I'd say probably some of the things that feels the best is uh, I've made the A-Main at 360 Nationals the past two years. Um, being able to consistently make the A-Main there is just an accomplishment itself because you, you can't just have one good lap or one good race. You've got to be able to put your qualifying laps together, make it through your heat race and still race decent to get into it. When I line up there for the past two years for 360 Nationals with guys like Terry McCarl, Sammy Swindell, you know, Joe Beaver, Clint Garner and things with the amount of experience they have and what they're doing and knowing that I'm sort of accomplishing some of the things that they are currently is uh, very, very successful. Twin features at Knoxville in the second feature and the car blew up in front of me and uh, I think Tyler Grunendyke ran into it, him and bounced off the wall and it was just a chain reaction of events that uh, led to hitting my car. Um, it broke through, broke my elbow, um, smashed the steering wheel into my leg, knocked me out and then a rear bumper or a wing tree or something stabbed into my armpit, came out my collarbone and ripped out my back and uh, for about the next week or so things are pretty blurry there but uh, thankfully I crashed at Knoxville where the safety crew is the best. Brian Clawson sent me a message that night and said welcome to the Life, Light and Live Club and uh, <laughs> kind of a cool accomplishment I guess because I'm still here today but it's something I definitely like to forget. I want to be known as a clean racer that raced hard. Um, it was always out there to win, but uh, you know, wasn't going to take anybody out or sacrifice my equipment or theirs to do so. You know, winning is very important, but like I said, we wouldn't be out here if we weren't having fun. So I just want to be known as the guy that raced clean, had fun, and raced hard. First night in a race car, I ran double duty. I did 305 and 360. But uh, did all right in the 305 heat, and uh, in the 360 heat, uh, the track slicked off a little. My dad told me if I could get the jump, go to the top. And uh, I got the jump, and I turned in the middle of the slick and spun out in front of every car in the heat race. And uh, backed it up on the berm, and uh, didn't tear nothing up, but it uh, sure knocked me down a notch for the rest of the night. And uh, set the tone for the next couple nights, and like I said, racing is mental. You know, who knows what, what would have happened if I could have just got to the top there and not spun out. Oh, I was in uh, 2011 in the 305 class. I'd uh, always raced Tasker Phillips and Carson McCall really hard. It seemed like one of the three of us always won. And uh, that night I just had the top roll and actually did not lead a single lap until off turn two when I beat uh, Bart Schneiderman. He missed the bottom and I was able to cover it and win. And I was only 21 years old at the time and just sitting up in the grandstands at Knoxville, that's all I ever dreamed of was just being on that podium. And to finally do it yourself as the driver, there's uh, no feeling that you can get anywhere else in life. It's like riding a riding a bull with 700 you know, 700 horsepower bull. It's just insane. You, you know, 305s aren't as bad. 360 is a little crazier, and then 410 is just nuts. It's you know, trying to tame a bull, you're just kind of always hanging on. You're on the verge of out of control, and yet still under control. You know, so to speak. It's kind of a, a hard feeling to to give another person unless they've actually done it. But I think. Uh, Everybody that's done it, you, you earn respect and you give respect to everybody that stepped in because whether you're 15th or 1st, you're uh, it's still a feat to get a sprint car around Knoxville. Winning. Um, we go out here to win. We, we come in here every week and work 20, 30, 40 hours a week on the car and spend thousands of dollars because we want to win. You, know, you want to be remembered as, like I said, the guy that has fun and drives clean, but every single one of us out there is there to win. Jamie Ball!